we're in Indonesia. Welcome to the grounds of Borobudur. Um, Borobudur is one of the world's largest Buddhist temples and today I'm going to show you around. One of the ways to get around the large grounds <laughs> is by train. So guys, the first glimpse of Borobudur. Borobudur is one of the most visited tourist sites in all of Indonesia. As I mentioned before, it's the largest Buddhist temple in the world and it used to be one of the wonders of the world. Okay, so I'm now almost at the top of Borobudur, and if you can see just behind me, we have these bell shaped stone structures which are called stupas. Stupas represent the seated meditating Buddha. If you look at each of the stone structures, you've got a pointy bit at the top because when you meditate, you have to meditate to one being to block out everything surrounding you. That's symbolizes the one God. The bell shape is all about protection and within each bell shaped structure is a Buddha in itself. The bottom of the structure um, actually represents the lotus flower. So I don't know if you can quite make out the lotus flower petals at the bottom, but that's a symbol of purity, very sacred and central to both Buddhism and Hinduism. At Borobudur you have 72 stupas. Um, there's Circular, they're around the, the structure in a circular fashion and behind me, or right, rather in front of me, so if the camera wants to turn this way, is the largest stupa of all, up here. We've done Borobudur and now a quick lunch before we head to Dr. Carla. Stop this Mount Marathi, the mountain of fire. It's a volcano on the border of um, Jakarta and Central Java, um, which is still active. And we're taking a jeep all the way to the top. Welcome to the palace of the 10th king of the Dr. Carter Regency. Mesh, 
Sangyang kalau no kalaya takut Maringkos kapiro Wopangawaan nyomet